Good day everyone, my name is Marvin and today I will be showing you my audio setup for uh, work at home. Um, my microphone audio setup for work at home. Uh, yeah, but first off, I would like to uh, say uh, to all the people out there who are still in quarantine, um, stay strong, we'll get through this. Okay, now, um, during the start of the quarantine, I uh, back in mid-March, uh, I was forced to do work at home. Unfortunately, I do did not have any um, audio equipment, um, recording audio equipment um, that was working properly. I do have this um, Red Dragon headset. Um, it does have a microphone. Unfortunately, for the audio quality, it was very, very um, poor. It has a very uh, high static noise and very low pickup for the voice audio. It may have something to do with the design as it's uh, very, very uh, short and is pointed at the side of my face, uh, exactly on my cheek. Um, what I needed was a dedicated microphone for me to be able to converse properly with the people that I will be talking to over Skype link um, or, or and or Facebook uh, Messenger. Um, but unfortunately, due to the extended quarantine or the implementation of uh, the, quarant the uh, enhanced community quarantine, I was not able to purchase um, a dedicated microphone. Um, the specific target was uh, the very popular option that we have um, currently um, in the Philippines, which is the uh, BM800 microphone um, that I would love to have partnered with the V8 um, audio uh, sound card. But um, the good news is I did have audio equipment for my um, hobby for uh, photography slash videography, which is the, this current microphone set right now, which is the uh, Boya BYMM1 microphone. Um, I normally partner this one with my M50. At first, I tried using it with a um, extension cord um, directly from the from the microphone directly to the computer or directly to the rear, the sound out, sound input. Um, but the subsequent, uh, but the but the vo but the volume or the audio uh, quality that it created was very very uh, poor. Although it was slightly better than this mi than this headset, it was still very staticky. Um, a lot, a lot, it had a lot of noise. I ended up googling. Uh, solutions to my problem and i found a solution that was very interesting it was a uh, using your cell phone as a DAC or a digital audio converter oh sorry digital to analog converter which was converting a signal from this microphone from this uh, the analog signal from this microphone to the cell phone which would convert it to digital um, and lo and behold, and um, I had to find a software where I could transfer the audio from the cell phone to the computer, and I found WoMic, or that's W O Mic, which I will be showing you to shortly. Um, it worked very good, and it's currently the audio that I'm using right now. Um, if you can hear me properly, um, this is the result of the uh, the combination of the Boya BYMM1. Connecting to my Asus Zenfone Pro M2, and then connecting to uh, my computer. Um, I'll I'll show you uh, the current setup that I have right now. So this is a janky setup that I have. So this microphone is connecting to my cell phone, which is there, and via USB, it's connecting to my computer. The connection that I have right now is, uh, as you can hear, is very, very uh, good. Although there's room for improvement, as this is not a, de a dedicated, uh, dedicated microphone, like for example, a Razer Siren, uh, Blue Yeti, or the cloud, the the the, the cloud one. I'm sorry, forgot the cloud flare. I guess. So um, as you can uh, so as you can see, um, what I'm currently using right now is um, Wo mic, free microphone. So it you need to install both um, the app 
uh, from the app store in your uh, cell phone and install the program um, on your uh, PC. So um, as you can see, I'm currently uh, connected, uh, but you need to con disconnect or connect depending on your needs. Uh, and it has four options for connection. I can't properly show it to you right now because I'm currently connected to the wall mic. But uh, the four options would be uh, direct Wi-Fi, which you can connect if your um, device, like uh, let's say a laptop, which has a uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, a Wi-Fi uh, antenna or a, a Wi-Fi chip, um, you can connect it. You connect to it using direct Wi-Fi, or you can also use the other connection that you have is via Wi-Fi, uh, which is connecting your device uh, it, via LAN to your router, and your router connects to your cell phone. The third option is via USB, which is which is what I'm currently using right now, and the fourth option would be via Bluetooth. So if your uh, device, let's say you have a US, uh, you have Bluetooth receiver um, on your uh, on your computer or on your laptop, you'll be able to uh, directly connect to your laptop without any wires. Um, the advantage of going with USB is um, you will be able to charge your cell phone at the same time, uh, so that you'll not you will still be able to use your cell phone after immediately after using it. Um, the the this the advantages of Bluetooth uh, are that you're not gonna be able you're not gonna be using any wires to connect, so that's less clutter. Unfortunately, um, in my uh, experience using Wi-Fi, um, there are uh, lag um, when you're talking. Um, sometimes you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be hearing um, slight uh, audio delays uh, when you're talking versus uh, what the people on the other side are hearing or it's a it's the odd it's an audible clipping of your voice um, but the another cool thing that i have uh, recently uh, discovered is using rtx uh, voice um, which is what i'm currently showing you right now the rtx voice um uh, has features which has AI. When enabled, you'll be able to hear uh, a background noise. Uh, the background noise is minimized. Um, currently, we I have uh, my dog barking at the background, but uh, the I will not be able to hear, or you will not be able to hear using as uh, NVIDIA RTX voice has been enabled. Um, normally, this only works with. Uh, RTX uh, video cards from NVIDIA, um, but there is a workaround. Um, I'm currently using a, a GTX 1660 Ti and not an RTX card, but there is a workaround for that, which is a little bit complicated, but you can easily Google it. Um, on the next video, I'll probably show you uh, how to use RTX voice using only a GTX card. It will not work on AMD cards, just um, just uh, GeForce NVIDIA cards. So that's uh, all I have. Uh, what do you think? Um, is the audio of, uh, is the audio up to the standards of uh, of using uh, dedicated cardioid microphones or dedicated uh, streaming microphones? Or do I do I still need improvement on this one? Tell me on your thoughts. Have a good day. Bye bye.